Good evening. A Midlands-based charity that supports people with sickle cell disease says the rising cost of living could lead to an increase in hospital admissions. Keeping warm is vital for those with the condition if they're to avoid serious pain. But with energy costs twice as high as last winter, the charity Oscar Birmingham says 90% of the people they help are anxious about how they'll be able to afford to stay warm. James Beauville reports. For Joanna and her two children, the school holidays means board games. Money's too tight for expensive days out. Joanna and her son Stephen both have sickle cell disease. And she has a dilemma. Cold weather makes their condition worse. When the house is not warm, that triggers the pain so much more. Like, really bad. Especially, like, in winter time. I always have to put, like, layers of clothes on. Like leggings and things like that. If I get cold, like I just, I just feel like a bit weird and stuff like that. It's just a few chest pains, belly aches. Sickle cell disease changes the shape of red blood cells that can block blood flow, which causes episodes of severe pain. Pain exacerbated by cold weather. But keeping warm is more expensive than ever. Joanna lives on just £900 a month. She watches her prepayment gas and electric meter literally drain away. So, to keep warm, she uses plug-in heaters for individual rooms or more traditional methods. I can't use any heaters or stuff like that. So what do you do instead? Cover up or stay in bed. A Birmingham charity which helps people with sickle cell disease says 70% of its service users are in child poverty or fuel poverty and 90% are worried about how to heat their homes this winter. These are difficult decisions with real-life consequences. If they fail to keep the home warm sufficiently, then that will trigger off a crisis, resulting in more children being admitted into the hospital, more pressures on the NHS. Joanna lives day to day, not knowing whether her money will stretch, dreading the onset of winter, fearing the physical and financial pain it might bring. James Beauville, BBC Midlands Today, Selly Oak in Birmingham.